Hello, 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 brothers and sisters in Yehoshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. I pray that you're having a blessed day. There's a lot of things going on out there, a lot. And of those things I need not tell you or concern you about because you already know. Our redemption draws nigh. Let us first pray. Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, our God of Israel, the God of our salvation, we enter your courts with thanksgiving. I'm sorry, we enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with never-ending praise. We bow down and we worship you and we give you thanks. And all the glory and the honor and the praise, they all belong to you. For you are our Lord and our God. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. You are the Most High. Thank you. Thank you so much, Father, for your amazing grace. Your mercies that are made new every day and your unfailing and everlasting love. Great is thy faithfulness. We love you and we adore you and we exalt your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. For you alone are worthy. You alone are the, are the, are the worthy one. For you alone are the, are the, are the one, the, the most high, seated at the right hand of the Father. And you will come again in your glory to judge the living and the dead and the kingdom will have no end. Every knee will bend and every tongue will, fe will confess that Jesus is the Christ to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Father, let this... When I read this piece of scripture, I ask that those who listen to this piece of scripture, that it strengthens their spirit. Father, I ask for the entire body of Christ that we're all counted worthy in your eyes to be caught up and to be delivered from this world that we simply do not belong in and be ushered into the glorious kingdom of heaven where we will bask in your countenance and your beautiful light and we will dwell with you forever. You, our loved ones, And all the people who have Christ in them. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has the minds of men prepared themselves for the wonderful things that are coming to those who love God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I pray for this entire world. Please meet everyone's needs, Father your creation. I pray that all those who are lost will be found. I pray that they will all receive the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh. Please, Father, just as you saved me, save them too. Just as you saved those listening to this right now, that we were a different place in, in our lives at a certain point in time, and you saved us. You said, my people lack, my people perish because of their lack of knowledge. We thank you for your knowledge, Father, that you have given us. And we ask for more discernment, more wisdom, and more revelation. Continue to strengthen our spirits, Father, and I pray for all those who are in need that are going through the most difficult times in their lives, that you know that, Father, and that you will meet their every single need so that your name will be glorified. I ask this in the name that is above all other names, the name of our King of Glory, our Prince of Peace, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Okay, I have um, 
Psalm 37 to read to you. Psalm 37 is very prolific. It's powerful because many of um, many of the body of Christ are falsely accused, just like Jesus Christ was falsely accused. Right? If we are to take to partake in the in the, in the glories then we also have to partake in his sufferings. And I know a lot of us are. And just remember to trust the Lord. Trust him, trust him. And do not lean on your own understanding. But in all of your ways, acknowledge him. And he will make your path straight. Just as the high, the skies are higher. Just as the skies are higher than the, uh, just as the heavens are higher than the skies. So are his ways higher than our ways and his thoughts higher than our thoughts. Don't even try to think like God. But you, we do know his character. And his character is unfailing love, amazing grace, and mercy. But his cup of mercy is about to run dry. And, it, and his cup of wrath is about to over, overflow on this unrepenting and unbelieving world. It's called Daniel's 70th week, Jacob's Troubles, the seven-year tribulation, and it is going to happen. Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. So put your faith in Jesus Christ. The scriptures say, if you confess with your mouth and you believe with your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, Adonai, he's master, and that God, Elohim, raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. So, as you read this, this may uh, this is a very powerful um, psalm that I really like to go to because you see so much wicked flourishing and you're like, okay, <laughs> well, this is God's promise. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him, and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn. And the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed and those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But their swords will stab their own hearts and their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich. For the strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive an inheritance at last forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times, even in famine, they will have more than enough. But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in a the field. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay. But the godly are generous givers. Those the Lord blesses will possess the land, but those he curses will die. The Lord directs the steps of the godly, 
He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Once I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging for bread. The godly always give generous loans to others and their children are a blessing. Hallelujah. Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land, and they will live there forever. The godly offer good counsel. They teach right from wrong. They have made God's law their own, so they will never slip from his path. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly, looking for an excuse to kill them. But the Lord will not let the wicked succeed, or let the godly be condemned when they are put on trial. Put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along His path. He will honor you by giving you the land. You will see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree in its native soil. But when I looked again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. Look at those who are honest and good, for a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord rescues the godly. He is their fortress in times of trouble. The Lord helps them. Rescuing them from the wicked. He saves them and finds shelter in him. Hallelujah. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I can testify to this. I've seen it in my own life. Psalm 37. All of God's promises are yes and amen. I've seen him do wonderful works and deeds and miracles that are only can only be explained as supernatural coming from a holy, a kadosh father. Kadosh means holy in, in Hebrew. We're set apart. He's a, a kadosh, kadosh father. So, with that, I just want to give the the priestly blessing to whoever who's listening whoever is listening right now just close your eyes and be touched by the greatest blessing in the world that came directly from God himself the God of Israel our God of salvation yevarecha aronai viish merecha Yaer Aronai Panav Elecha Viku Necha Isa Aronai Panav Elecha Veyasim Lecha Shalom Aronai bless you and keep you Aronai lift up Aronai shine his face upon you and be gracious to you Adonai, lift up his countenance unto you and continue to give you his shalom. In the powerful name of our dearly beloved King of Glory, Prince of Peace, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, Amen and Amen. So, that's all I really have to say. God bless you all, and remain steadfast in all of his promises that are yes and amen. God is great. God is good. Talk to you later.